I guess in this video I am going to discuss about graph table in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So that here a graph is a collection of node and its tables. So when you select add here database, so add here go to graph. Okay, here is the graph. If you right click, then here two option is there. We can create new node table or add here new is table. So that means graph is the collection of nodes and is so when you want to create add here new node table click there so add here this is the default query now here we need to do some modification after that you can create the nodes add here so like this if you want then here you can select new as table so this add here create as table template and you give the database or uh, system name and here after this is the ready-made query now here after I made this simple, so first I am going to create add here one or table. So add here first to add here this query. So create database graph db. Now here after use graph db and here going to create create or table graph table. And here id name ct. So id is the integer tag, name is the ct and as node. Now here after let's execute that. So add here query execution completed. Now here after let's refresh the database. So add here graph db data uh, base created. Now here after go to table and here after go to graph table. So add here graph table it's uh, created. Now here after the next thing is so we need to insert. So let's check add here index. So add here there is uh, two kind of index it's created first is graph unique index and here ek graph tab so if you want then here you can right click and here you can check so this the add here property and here you can find name and here sort big int size it's a displaying and here name graph table so this the non cluster index so about the cluster and non cluster index that i already discussed now if you want then here you can or check options here you can make true and false now here after i'm going to insert some records so add here query completed successfully so add here let's make that so add here here you can find or one rows affected one rows affected so two rows inserted inside graph table now here you can see there is a node underscore id here so here id name and city so id name and city that i have given the columns but when you create the graph tables so right here this is this is the system generator a column node underscore id 2d and here this is you can find tab so this is the node tab here is schema dbo and table name graph table and this two records that i inserted now here after let's create add here as table now here after let's do one more thing refresh the graph database and here go to table and here graph table so add here graph table and here right click now here you can see the properties of the graph table so add here database server user schema name graph table and here so here this is the enable here oh graph table has two or kind of tables graph db has two kind of tables node and s so that i just created and here note that's that's why add here this indicate true and here i didn't create add here s table so it's a false now here after let's do add here create s execute here create table and here is so this must be selected graph db now here after let's insert so insert into s table values so values i'm going to accept it with graph table where id triple one and one one two so these two values that i inserted triple one and one one two so by the help of id one triple one and one one two i'm going to insert the records inside s table now execute that so add here or uh, value inserted now here let's execute this one so this is the graph and here this is the s table 
So here you can see. So right here, this is node ID, and here this is the value. Now if you make that bigger, and here this is, you can make that bigger, and here let's make that little bigger. I'm making because and making bigger because add ID. So ID is the zero and here zero and one. So here you can find zero one time first time when I execute graph table here. So this is the type is the add here node and here is the ID zero. And here this is the type node and here ID is the one. So first time that is selected. So ID is the zero and here zero and next time one. So first time add here zero zero and one here. So this is the tab add here when I created add here is so add here the tab it's come as add here now here this is the as table here this is the graph table now here after I scroll down so add here on the next thing is so let's reference once again graph table not this one we need to reference so it's a reference that here table and here go to graph table now here there are two or table is created first is add here or graph okay I did the mistake here you can write add here node and here is here if you want then here you can uh, see the property properties so this time add here when I select this one so add here is table it's now add here it's true and here this is the created graph table and here server user all it's a display now here after select a uh, new column have been added to the sys tables so when you create add here graph table or s table so there are new or columns that add into the sys table so when you execute this one so add here it's a graph table and here s table so this is the id and here is not and is not so when you select add graph table so this is now add here one that means that means it's true here this is the zero that means it's false and here user table and here s table this is the zero here this is the id and one so when, when whenever we create any uh, graph table and user table, so that comes inside sys tables. So sys table by using sys table we can select name object is not and here is tab. So is not is tab it's a or, or display where is the graph table is there or not. Now here after I'm going to select all the sys columns. So for this we need to use select a star from sys columns and execute to this query. So here you can find object ID, name, column ID, system, all those things. Now here after I'm going to do some filter. So add here select object ID, name and graph. So add here object ID, name and here graph tab and here graph tab. So let's uh, execute to this query. Now here you can find object ID, name and here graph uh, tab and graph tab DESC. Now here total numbers of rows are selected 1013. Now here after the let's do one thing here, I'm going to do the filters by using where clause. So add here is not null, where graph type DSD is not null. Now here after if you execute to this query, so here uh, it's uh, displaying object ID, name, graph type, graph type DSD, it's all displaying and here it's not with uh, null. So these are the things about to uh, graph table and here there are two things, graph table, node and edges. So this is the way we can create the graph table and here. Yeah. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.